Isaiah says, cease to do evil, learn to do good. Seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the widow's cause. Notice all the action words in that little section of Scripture. Resolve, decide to obey God. Worship God by doing the things that please Him. That's what Isaiah is saying. That's what Amos is saying. Now, some of you, as you hear those verses read, here's what's going on in your mind. You're thinking, oh, that sounds really moralistic. And if you're thinking that, it just shows how far we've separated worship and obedience. Somehow we think if God tells us to do something, that's moralism. No, friends, that's worship. That's worship. Some of us have theologized all the obedience out of Christianity. To where we we hear a moral imperative in Scripture, the only place we go is, well, thank God that Jesus obeyed that for me so I don't have to. Instead of thinking... Thank God that he sent Jesus to die for my disobedience and to empower me for obedience so that I can be set free from my rebellion and disobedience against that and set free to actually pursue a new kind of obedience. 